How's it going? YouTube DM Tombstone Belts back here again with a brand new video and I thought why not I do a little bit of stuff here and there while uh, I'm still doing going through process of stuff and uh, as of right now I'm in contact with an old friend of mine and uh, we've been having a little conversation here and there. I'm not want to give full details on what's going on. Obviously if you can tell what I'm talking about all means I know you guys be excited to see that happening but but in the meantime, what's been happening since uh, Backlash, good pay-per-view, but it's not about the pay-per-view, my thoughts on it. What I'm more about is uh, what's been happening with me. So far, I've been still doing restone processes, and of course, for this particular video, it's about a belt I made. And it's not the intercontinental belt that I promise, guys. Don't worry, I'm going to work on that as soon as I can. So stick tuned for that. But in the meantime, this is a belt I'm working on for a friend of ours. Uh, it was the old UWW guys. Hopefully it'll be me and him and the guys soon in the all-new wrestling uh, promotion. But in the meantime... Uh, sorry, guys, my knees and thighs are really giving out on me. But... I thought why not I display this brand new title. This is not actually for him. This is for his uh, nephew. So uh, I thought why not I put it on display. It's a custom made belt. I say it. I call it the Detroit Championship belt. And yes guys it's designed exactly like how it was for the Stanley Cup belt, the two universals, the WWE Network logo, and the, of course the WWE Scratch logo belts, designed off of those. But I say it looks pretty good. Now let's go through the simple design with the Damian Championship belt stamp on there. 2x8 snap box with the puff paint designs all around it, and of course it's stitched up. But I used the puff paint to cover the stitching so it looks like it's one piece. Use the puff paint on the edges. Here you see tooling that says DET for Detroit. And the first side plate with some set of stones. And of course the Detroit Lions logo plate. That's the made. And of course the sidebar here is an actual metal stock sidebar I took off one of my... Uh, there would be belts when I replaced them with the fine do sidebars, so I got some stock bars that I use for this. Here's the center plate, the Detroit D with stones on it, and of course the champion banner designed off of the Adobe Scratch logo, but in red. A multi series of stones, another fan do sidebar. I don't have and do another stock there would be a uh, shop sidebar and sorry for that interruption guys uh all right as i say here's the other side plate with the detroit pistons logo of i think like the 90s to 2001 and of course the other patch saying det and of course, the 2x6 snap, gold snaps with the stock W shop uh, gold tip because I have a bunch of those after replacing some of the mine with a one piece. And uh, yep, belt's pretty flexible. You see the backing just regular black stitching, I mean, black leather backing. But if you guys know the drill, I'm going to probably pause the video and show you what the belt looks like on my shoulder and around my waist. So I'll see you guys in a few. So I hope you guys can see me well on camera. Here's the belt in hand. Pretty much durable belt. And here it is on the shoulder of the Detroit Championship. A custom made belt for a friend of mine. Well, his nephew at least. And of course, fits well around the shoulder. It looks good. Here it is in hand, folded up. Real flop and got some weight to it thanks to the metal bars and tip and now let's put it around the waist and guys like I said when I put belts around the waist I'm not a heavyweight I'm uh, under 190 pounds so I'm a cruiserweight this will fit up to a nice uh, 46 inch waist 
because I designed the belt strap, matched it off one of my uh, stock uh, WWE straps I had after I replaced them with the real others. Here it is around the waist. And not bad. First time testing the snaps, and they all held up. So let's one do one last run through, and end the video. So, the snap box, the custom design with stamping, the, the Detroit Lions side plate with the disc, the bar, the logo center plate, bar. The Pistons side plate, the DET lettering. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you. So don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, comment below what you guys think, and also follow me on my social media, like on Twitter at dmfumstone96, and on Instagram at dme96, where I mostly post stuff there. For I post some stuff here on YouTube. I'm dmfumstonebelts, and I'll see you guys in the next video.